Hi everyone, Messy Coda back again with another review. This time it is Polystyl Medieval Village from Astro Fish Games. You might remember that we played about with a detailed version. Now this looks familiar, I hear you say. Yes, that's right, because there's a triple A looking version out there, the realistic style that we reviewed live on Twitch, or the w.twitch.tv slash the messy coder, where we interviewed Chris from Astro Fish Games as well. What a lovely fellow. Now this is the poly style version of this pack, and there are interiors and exteriors. There are lods on pretty much every single thing in this pack, and there's also colliders. And I'm not talking about just that you've got mesh colliders all over the place. That's right, it's got the well thought out box colliders, multiple box colliders put on things. So you don't have to worry about optimization and performance issues. Oh, this is lovely. Look at this lovely village. Now come sit down with me, hold my hand while we go flying through the medieval village, Polystyle from Astrofish Games. Oh, lovely. I'll see you all in a second. And here we are inside Unity. I've got the medieval village demo scene opened up so we can just have a, a quick fly around as we're looking at this polystyle medieval village from Astro Fish Games. Now keep in mind when I say polystyle, I mean polystyle. This is not low poly, we're not talking about super low poly models in here, and I'll have to show you in a second. We've got uh, on like a 2000, 3000 vert count. Some of these, oh, these are like 800, but don't worry, there's lots. There's lots on absolutely everything. There's also colliders all over the place. And if I just pause now over here, I'm just going to view, have this lovely view, and we're going to pause and we're going to just zoom in on where the camera is. The camera's here. And I'm going to grab this here. And if I show you what we've got, we've got collision. And if you open it up, you've got box collider, box collider, box collider, box collider, box collider, box collider. You don't have a load of mesh colliders, which mesh colliders will just eat up your performance. And also, to be honest, mesh, mesh colliders don't really give you that level of control like you do. And this is fantastic. The fact that he's gone here and put box colliders on everything really shows the level of detail and also the uh, basically the care and the interest he does to um, all of you out there who want to make games really cares about you know you want to have good performance um, over here we've got a box collider on this doesn't need to be anything more fancy than that we've got lods as well and if I go in and want to show you this door over here what are we looking at see 2900 verts uh, then down to 1700 and then down to 1200 so we're not talking about a super low poly. It's not... Oh, hang on. Oh, I did stop instead of unpause. Oh, I was in a lovely position as well. Oh, that's not nice. I have to go on a new adventure. So um, the reason why I say it's not low poly is because look at the detail in this faceted look that you've got. I've seen other assets out there which literally are just rectangles and they've got colours on them. To show like this, a low poly. Well, this is not. This is got a lot of thought. You've got detail, like shaping going on there, just to make it interesting, to keep it alive, to make it look like, well, like a fun game that you'd want to play. Look at the steps there. Look at that. You've got the wood carving that's gone in there. It's worn and weathered, and that's fantastic. I love that. I would like to have had a um, first-person controller in here. I could put the standard assets one. And chuck it in we could run about but the fact that you get this floating camera given for you for free in this pack is also a joy look at that you get foliage in here you've got vines that you can add on and it's all very very customizable it's nice it's modular as modular as you like let's just delve in again and have a fly around and then We'll have a play about with the interiors. That's right, there's interiors in this pack. Let's go under here. Look, well, you've got rocks. Many things. Many, 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 many things in this pack. I'll show you even more just as I drink a bit of tea because this tickly cough is killing me. It might be all the dust from just hovering around the bottom of this medieval village. 
could be just bringing up allergies. You just never know. Let's pop in to another demo scene on the interiors. And I'll show you what we're up to. Oh, lovely. Let's go. Look at that. Hello. All the interior there. There's a pre-made interior there. And another interior there. It's lovely. And we've got interior parts here. Look at that. There's a nice interior, exterior house as well. And another one there. And if we click play on this scene, you know you want to. We're just going to fly about. There we go. And the doors are opening. Oh, let's pop inside this house. But for something like this, I think it's great that you've got the option to have lots. And if you don't want to use them, you can always turn them off. Um, I'm just smushing my face up to everything as we're trying to look around in here. Maybe I should put the, uh, the other controller in there. Third person controller and just run around this place. But I think this camera is good enough to get an idea of what's going on. And here we go. We've got a nice interior. Interesting. A lot of tables and things. I'd like to put some more props in there. We've got some props hiding around inside this pack. I'll tell you what you do get in this pack. You get over 200 models. You get wolves. Uh, wolves? You get wolves, roofs, windows. You get doors, step ladders, and fences, extensions, and bridges, and chimneys. You get platforms, iron fixtures, ground rocks, and you also get foliage. Look, talking about foliage, here you go. There's foliage there. And the kids downstairs are so excited, they can't help screaming with giddy enjoyment. And then we've got the poly flames burning away yeah it's a great pack um let's have a look at another, at another house here it is very interesting to see the same artist be able to offer um the pack in a realistic style and also a stylized poly style as well it's very cool like you've got the option in this you can say you know do i want to have a realistic well i'll go and pick up the realistic pack. Do I want a poly star? I've got to pick up the poly star pack. I've not really seen many medieval poly packs out there to this quality, um, so really are excited. And you could see how you could even get the Cinti stuff in here working really well. I'd love to see what people come up with because these modular packs, these, these packs are like, like basically uh, Unity Lego. I like to call it. I like to see what kind of amazing things that people come up with. Oh, look at that. We've got a little bit of a crack here. And that's because these old buildings, you know, they're put together. They, they, they warned and they get warped in the rain. And sometimes they're just not put together very well. Very interesting. That's going to let the rain in, isn't it? Oh, dear. They need to put a bucket down in there. Let's have a look. Crash through this window. Let's pop inside. Oh! There's actually nothing in there. There you go, that's why you can't see that one. That one doesn't have an interior. That's why you can't see inside. You can put one of those fake mirrors, uh, fake windows on there. That'd be quite cool and funky, wouldn't it? Well, let's pop into some more demo scenes we've got to play about in here. And we go down to the scenes. We've got a, a trailer for high speed build. What is this? Let's click play. What's, what's going to happen here? Okay, so I thought it was going to start building itself, but uh, no, it didn't. It's get credit with us on our Discord. So here is a build that he got put together in his video, and showing you that you can. Let's just pause it one second. Actually, let's pause it. Let's get out of there and zoom in and just see how we can just rip this apart. There you go. Look at that, modular as you like. It's beautiful. There's your chimney. And there's your chimney snacks as well. You could really just your imagination is your only limitation with this pack. Lovely jubbly. How about here? We've got oh look at that. Beautiful. You got your vines, you can stick them wherever you want. It's always good to just shut and vine somewhere, isn't it? And let's have a look at this one. Don't save. Oh there we go. Let's click play and float about. It's got some nice rocks. I do like his rocks. I'm going to start playing around with this and shoving some Sinti models in here. And see what that's like. You know, those Sinti Vikings and things like that. That'd be great. They'll come raiding. The Vikings will come raiding. Arrar. No, that's not how a Viking talks. That's a pirate. Um, so, yeah. Apologies there to all you Vikings in the chat. I do apologise. 
let's check out the other scene. We've got the prefabs. Let's see what we're getting here. And these are going to be all everything just laid out nicely so we can get a good view of everything you get. My word, there's a lot of things in this pack. Look at that. Look at the size of that. Have you thought you were getting one or two things? No, you're not. You're getting a lot. So go in there, grab it while you can. As I say, normally $49.99 is on sale at the moment on the Unity Asset Store, $24.99. Um, it is massive. There's a lot of lovely things in this pack. Look at the size of look at the size of the prefabs, the number of prefabs you get in this. Well the camera's very sharp and, and nippy. Very nippy. Let's go. Oh, there we go. I just smashed my face up against them. Oh my word. One of the problems about these modular things is that, you know, it's great to be able to sit there and make them, but you need to have the time now to sit down and make your house. There's a lot of people that love that, you know, like The Sims. You're sitting there, you make your house, and then you save it as prefab, and then you can put it in your game. You don't have to worry about that because there's a load of pre-made ones that you can play about, even pre-made parts. So you've wanted just uh, different roofs or different bases, then, then you can just use those, put them together, does it all for you. If you want to do everything completely yourself from scratch, you can. Or even still, if you wanted to add these into something like EBS, and then you can have it in game where people are building their houses. Well, that's just even better, and that's amazing. Let's pop over here to these houses. Lovely. Oh, hang on, I just smashed my face into the tiles. I hope you're not getting seasick from me just flying around the place and zapping. Wow. So I'm going to play about with this pack some more. I hope you've enjoyed our little flying visit to Polystar's Medieval Village from Astrofish Games. And if you haven't checked it out already, check out the other video I made with the high detailed ones, which is a bit more pricey, um, but uh, it's also a very beautiful. It's a different style pack. And if you are looking for something very realistic, um, you will be blown away by the AAA quality of the medieval village from astrofish games that's the realistic style the detailed pack is course and you know what he's even got a free copy out there that's right you can pick yourself up a free demo of his asset so you can try before you buy maybe it's not something that um, would suit you or to fit in with your other assets or the other artwork in your game well why not try it out he's giving you a free copy on the unity asset store and i'll put a link to that down below in the description as well Okay, everyone, I'm going to play about with some low poly style looking um, beautifulness, and I'm going to try and see if I can make some Viking noises that don't sound like pirates. So, if you do like these videos and you want to see more, do click on them. Click on that big juicy button. Tell all your friends, your neighbours, random people on the streets. And if you do like it, click it. Till next time, you are. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button, and right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time, 